Atlanta, exactly two weeks ago, Kanye West played his long-awaited, Donda, album for about 42,000 fans in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And then he literally never left the building. The superstar rapper, a genius to his devotees, and eccentric to everyone else, created a studio lair in a pocket of the cavernous downtown Atlanta venue where he slept in a makeshift Spartan bedroom, ate meals from a privately commissioned chef, toiled away on Donda, live-streamed elements of his temporary life and welcomed guests including Chance the Rapper. On Thursday night, West emerged from his stadium cocoon for another live album presentation for a slightly smaller crowd of about 35,000. As with his July 22nd event, during which Donda played in the stadium while West walked around the venue floor, West arrived on his own time, at 10.25 p.m., tickets were for 9 p.m. Clad in black with the word Donda on his back, West stood amid a circle of lights on a setup mimicking his makeshift room, bed, candle, shoes, as the song featuring a speech from his beloved late mother Donda West, who died in 2007 and for whom the album is named, played. One amusing lyric, you brought church to stadiums built for only soccer, was perhaps a nod to his surroundings. It was immediately apparent that the retooled album sounded more cohesive, with more beats and melodies and songs such as New Again, and the Roddy Rich feature, Pure Souls, sounding textured and lyrically fulfilling. Guest shots from Jay Electronica, Kid Coody, Jadakiss and Griselda also popped up during the nearly 90-minute presentation. But Jay-Z's appearance on the guitar buzzing, percussion-heavy, Jail, and the Ween's creamy vocals cushioning, Hurricane, sounded like highlights for fans, who whooped appreciatively at the recognition of both. Trivia alert, this was the first music event in Mercedes-Benz Stadium to take place under an open roof, a call made by stadium officials due to the COVID-19 surge. West still never spoke, but at least stepped up the production element, which, granted, wasn't a tough assignment. As one song featuring the intonation, Stay Outside, Let's Get Right, played in the Halo video board in the stadium flickered with images of menacing clouds, West dropped to the ground to do push-ups while dozens of choir members trotted out from the hallways and filed around the stage. During the clip-clop catchiness of Junya, featuring Playboy Carti, who also appeared on Off the Grid, hundreds of additional choir members, dressed head to toe in black, walked in an endless circle around the stage. At one point, West appeared to be holding a phone and having a faux argument as the choir burst into heavenly vocals. At another point, he threw a black jacket over himself and raced around the stage before falling to the ground, where he remained for several minutes into the first part of the slow-burning remote.